sorry, she always makes me cry. She made her private pain public in her headline-making memoir, Making a Scene. I hate talking about it because it always makes me cry. But just bringing it up, the emotions are still there a month after its release. The book made headlines with allegations of abuse, memories of trauma, and revealing how she nearly took her own life. Constance, I think the last time we talked to you, your book came out. What have you, have you been surprised by the reception? I have been surprised by the reception. Yeah. All right. And the response. What was the, the toughest part to write for you? Probably about being like threatened and sexually harassed my first two years of Fresh Off the Boat. That wasn't pleasant. She also talks about the vicious backlash to a tweet about not wanting her ABC hit Fresh Off the Boat to return for another season. Backlash that nearly led her to a suicide attempt. I didn't really even want to write about that. Mm -hmm. um, because I thought I'd like handled it, but yeah, I did. So she also claims she was sexually harassed on the set. The very memory still causes a floodgate. I just want to commend you because I think it's super brave of you to tell your story like this. <laughs> Hats off to you. Let's end on a on a note about 222. Um, sorry, it's, no worries, no worries. <laughs> there, there we go. It happens. Of course, every of course. time. I'm totally good, let's keep going. And that's what she's done through it all. Now taking her acting skills to the stage. Ghosts aren't literally dead people walking around. I think they're more like Facebook. She's co-starring with Finn Whitrock in 222, A Ghost Story, an award-winning supernatural stage play. I got freaked out when I read the script for like a few days afterwards, and yeah. that was just reading the script. So, um, yeah, it's rare that a play really has that kind of jarring emotional effect on you. Yeah. Um, and also because it's really funny. My mom says it's like there's somebody out there watching. She's Catholic. She always thinks someone's watching. Part comedy, part mystery, totally spooky. Well, very visceral. I mean, there, people are jumping and s literally screaming like in the audience. Jump scares the way Ooh. like a, a horror movie would have jump scares. I want them to be here as witnesses when you hear it too. 222 A Ghost Story is now playing at LA's Amundsen Theater through December 4th.